Hello everyone, happy Friday. Playing this game again. Yeah, full week of this again. I know one person's gonna be very happy, but there's a reason for it. Uh, actually no there isn't. <laughs> or at least none that can come to my head, to, at the top of my head of, exactly. What I plan on doing after this is to, I think I know what I'm gonna be streaming for Saturday. I will be streaming, uh, Security Breach again, and I'll see just how much I can break it. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Should be fun though, I think anyway. Uh-oh. Skulls. Let's try not to die in the first minute or two. Maybe I can shoot them down. They move in very strange ways, though. I'm gonna need to roll like a 19 if I want to hit one. Wait, are they are they dodging my arrows? Or is it just the way they're moving? No, it, I think it's just the way they're moving. Come on. Oh, whatever. I'm wasting arrows. Now I'll just make this double-sided. Uh-oh. Going. Come over here. Now! Mission accomplished! Moving on! So how are you guys doing today? Do anything fun? Anything cool? Let me know. Keep an eye on the skulls. Did you guys ever watch Freakazoid? It's a funny show. It's old, it's old though. But it was still a funny show. Actually, fun fact. I'm sure there are many people here that know about the show Pinky and the Brain. Funny thing about that show, it started off in, uh, the Animaniacs. Now, I'm sure that not many people nowadays know of the Animaniacs. But they might know the meme. So, th there were some memes. Oh, I hit one. Such as, uh, Yakko Warner and his Nations of the World. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. Republic, Dominion, Cuba, Caribbean, Sydney, Selenia, to, you know, Costa Rica, Colombia, Venezuela. You know, like that. There, hit him. I'm getting good rolls. Lately. Hit. Hit. There's a lot of skulls around. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of skulls. I'd best be careful. I don't know, when I was younger, at around the age of six, I think six, six or seven, I remember watching The Animaniacs. I'm pretty sure that the show was already done by the time I was six, or when I was six, but we had some, like, I think they were DVDs, I don't know, that I would watch them on. And I remember one of the things they said, really, one of the things they would do is like, uh, I don't know, they'd say something random at the end screen, and one of the things they said was, was better, was better look out, we're coming over for dinner. And I remember looking out my window being like, are, are they? Are they really? Because my, because mother was making some stuff. Oh. For dinner. Of course, though, like, I still, I, of course, I, I knew, I, I, I don't know. I just still kind of knew that, like, no, of course they aren't going to. But, like, you know. It was that kid thing of, like, but are they, though? <laughs> Fun times. Fun times looking back. I was a weird kid back then. A weird moth. Very weird moth. What's that? I don't know. Do I even have... Oh, right. There is a story I wanted to tell. Uh, I don't know. I told it to some friends, and it was actually quite a funny story. So... I'm sure that even our young folk know about the uh, abominations known as Furbies. Now Furbies, I mean, they were kind of a hype back then. You know, before people really figured out like, oh, these things are actually really terrifying. <laughs> which I'm, which people caught on to quickly. So basically, I used to have, when I was young, I had a Furby. It was a black Furby, black fur, you know? And I really liked it. I don't remember, I think it was a Christmas gift. I could be wrong. But anyways, one day, one, or one night actually, I, w I woke up at like 1 or 2 a.m. to the sound of grumbling coming from my closet. Now, I've, uh, being young, I didn't know what it was. So I sat, so I stayed in bed for about 10 minutes, just laying awake as I heard this grumbling going on for 30 set for like 30, every 30 seconds. I don't know how long it was. I just remember hearing it over and over again. Now, and, and, I, and I just kind of like, I thought I was thinking to myself, thinking like, like sh should I check what that out about this? Should I just ignore it? And of course, finally, I, finally, I sucked it up. And I went to see what it was, was in my, what it was that was doing that in my closet. So I opened up the closet and there was, the, there was, of course, I, did, I couldn't see it at first, but I, I, I finally checked the top shelf, which took me a moment as a kid because I couldn't really reach up there. And I found it, found the source, and it was my Furby. And it was making the grumbling noise because it was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept, so what I did after that was I, uh, I, I took it out and I tried to see if there was an all, it was really dark right now and I didn't have the mental capacity to really just turn on the lights because I felt like I was going to wake someone up if I did that, which of course was totally not true because I was in a singular room. No one else was there. No one else was there. And my parents were like, 
I don't know, like a hallway into a room ahead of mine, down a couple corners. And so the first thing I intended to do was look for the off button. But of course, I, of course, Furbies, they don't have off buttons. So next what I decided to do was I tried to hit it against something to see if I could make it turn off by force. And wouldn't you know it, that didn't work either. I think I tried hitting on my bedpost, I don't know. So I finally came to the conclusion, like, I knew there was a screwdriver down in the kitchen. So I decided to go out of my room with this grumbling Furby, going over to the kitchen to find a screwdriver to rip the batteries out of it. Because <laughs> there was no off button, but I knew there was a, uh, a battery pack. So I walked down this dark hallway with a grumbling Furby in my hands, and it was, like, it it was in such a way that, like, the wall, the, it was also echoing kind of off the walls. So you had this Furby grumbling off the walls, and plus it was dark, and it was this dark, it was, it was, it was this black furred Furby. The only thing that was really, it wasn't like dark dark, but it was dark enough that you could, I could still see where I was going. But all that I could see from the Furby was these black eyes, well not black eyes, these white eyes just staring back at me. And it was like, I don't know, I had to go down a staircase too. And that didn't make it any better because the staircase was even more echoey. And so it bounced off the walls, even, so the sound of the grumbling bounced off the walls even more. After that, though, what I decided to, after that, I finally was able to get down to the kitchen with this Furby in my hands. And what I did after that was I began to start to look for the screwdriver. So I put it onto the, onto the counter and I kept going, kept looking around while this Furby just kept making that demonic grumbling that I was getting so tired of now. It wasn't even scary much anymore. It was just like, get this thing to stop, please. It's annoying. And so I finally found, so I finally found the screwdriver and I went about taking out the, and it went about, and I picked up the Furby. I went to take the batteries out. So I unscrewed it while I was still doing the scribbling. And while I was taking the batteries out, I find, like, while I started taking the last battery out, it did the grumbling and it went down in pitch as I was taking the battery out. So it was like, it was like doing that thing, but it went And that scared me even more than when it was grumbling in the closet. But finally, I was able to get the batteries out and to stop making the noise. And I went back to bed. I don't remember if I had any nightmares during that time. But it was such an experience that I remembered it to this day just because of how freaking weird it was. But that is a story about how I gutted a Furby. Hope you enjoyed. But yeah, it seems as if many people had scary stories about Furbies when they were younger. Funny thing about, fur about Furbies though. A predator, or at least a carnivore or something, have eyes at the front of their heads usually. Just so that they can see more. Furbies... While herbivores or whatever have their eyes on the sides of their heads. Furby's eyes are on the front of their heads. Yeah. Think about it. it makes sense. Good story. Good story. Now then, where the heck am I? I swear, where am I going to find a boss? If I ever find another waypoint around here, I'm going to use it. Because this is getting low-key annoying. How many hours have I spent now looking for a boss? A lot? Definitely a lot. Definitely been a good amount, like two or so hours of me looking for a boss that I have yet to find. I think I know what I'm going to title this video now. A story about how I gutted a Furby, or the time I gutted a Furby, or something like that. And plus, it's not even that far into the episode when you hear it, so good on me? I don't know. Anyway though, I'm sure you can find the sound of a grumbling Furby online, just so you know what I was, what I had to deal with. Anyways, I'm going to kill this thing. Dead. Where's the boss? How far am I anyway? Pretty far. I go by the notion that if I just keep going straight, I will find what I'm looking for. It's what I always go by anyway. It's infinite world of Minecraft. So why wouldn't it work? Moving along now. My mouth hurts. I should have done some mouth exercises before I told a story. Hmm. Oh? Weeping roots. Oi. Does that mean something? Alright, enlighten me. Hang on. Minecraft. Oh, better Minecraft. Uh, ba- Nether bosses. What bosses are in better Minecraft? The Conjurer? The Dark Soul? Oh, I don't recall seeing that in better Minecraft. Adventure Z, Mousy's Mobs, Ice and Fire Dragons, I know that. There are mutant creatures? I don't think there are. I don't think there are. No, there aren't. This thing must be outdated. Yeah, there aren't Lycanates mods here either. I don't know. I'll need to check out my, uh, book thing, or whatever it was. Anyway, though, moving along, we'll find something eventually. As I've said multiple times now. Why am I lagging? Hmm. Weird, but whatever. Was I lagging before? I don't think I was. No, I don't think I was. 
Weird. But whatever. It should subside in a moment. I hope. Moving on. What kind of place, what kind of biome is this? Glowstone Gardens. Neat. I don't get it, but neat. Will it help me find a boss? No. Why would it? Um, Gesundheit. Moving on. Huh? Huh? I should use my backpack now. Don't think- Yeah, okay, so I do have stuff in here. Neat. What's this? Glowstone pile. Never heard of it. Sounds neat, though. Moving on. <laughs> Dull stone. Oh, we're back here again. How nice. I guess. I think we're about to near a, a ledge. Maybe. Or maybe not. Well, okay. Okay. Sure. Eventually, I will find a boss, and it'll be somewhere around here, and then I can stop repeating myself. Hopefully. Where are these bosses anyway? I expect them to be closer than this. I was hoping for them to be closer. It doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Just gotta keep moving. Now we'll find what I'm looking for. I wonder if there are like villages in the nether now. Nether villages. I doubt it. Oh, we're down by the lava now. How nice. Uh-oh. More skulls. Oh yeah, I got piercing on this thing. Hmm. Should be safe. Safe to keep going this way. I wonder what happened here. Was it always like this? Or did something occur? One thing that makes me curious is, why do the piglins have water bottles when there's no water? Where do they get the water bottles? Uh-oh. There are a lot of skulls flying around. I need to be careful. Maybe a good idea to uh, double this. I know they see me. Oh, hi. Get out of here. Oh, hydrogen. Hydrogen jellyfish. Boom. They explode. That's what makes it fun. Here we go again. Gotcha. Moving on. Watch the minimap. Be careful of the flying skulls. Oh. Yep, one sees me. Gotcha. It's been 22 minutes. Uh-oh. Oh. How dare you make it bounce off of you. 50. Plus 0 0.05 stone. Nice. What? Where are you? Gotcha. Moving on. So many skulls. What's the lore behind the floating skulls, I wonder? Oh, do you think there'd be lore behind the mods of- behind skull mods? I'll bet there is. Why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't there be lore behind everything? If it doesn't have lore, what is the point of it? That's right. There would be no point of it. What is the deepest lore? Batty, get on it. Moving on now. Be careful of the skulls. It has been 26 minutes. You still got time, I think. Getting up. And good. And then I guess I'll head over there. Selfric Bone Reef. Sounds sexy. Wait, what? I didn't say that. You didn't hear anything. I think all you heard. Uh, where? Was the sound of your own imagination. Imagination's going to run wild sometimes, you know. You wouldn't want to be caught off guard. Trust me. Who knows what people will say or do and make fun of you for it. You wouldn't want that now, would you? Or maybe you would. Who knows? Oh, oh, I got three wither skulls. That's good. That means that now I can be ready for a, a wither. I've killed the wither once before. My first time was actually quite recently. In better mine, not in uh, in Minecraft. Killing the wither. It didn't stand a chance. What I did was I ran around. It was in, it was a 1.18 thing. I ran around the uh, what's this? Oh, so I ran around a open part of the cavern with a crossbow, and I fought the wither like that, and I won. Apparently, the wither is actually not very accurate at all. Once it reached the ground, I just hit it with a sword and hoped to, that I wouldn't get killed. And that's the story about how I killed a wither, my first wither. It was quite fun. Quite the accomplishment for me. I've killed the ender dragon multiple times, but the wither? Once. Legitimately. And then I made a beacon and I spent the entire day getting the emeralds from villagers. And then I learned that you don't actually need to use just emeralds. Any material can work. 
To which then I got sad. But then I decided to keep going because it was already made out of emeralds anyway. Which way do my which way is this? Ah, that way. I've been seeing Oh, what's that? A bastion? Three. Bastion. I take it there wouldn't be one in a bastion, would there? I highly doubt there'd be a boss in a bastion. But I mean, better than nothing is one of the few structures we've seen in a while. So might as well give it a look, right? Hmm? Oh hi there. You don't have much knockback. What was I so afraid of? Well, Anyway, it's been 30 minutes. We'll go for 10 more. Just because it's a Friday. Huh? What was that? Where was that? Die. Oh, did I hit one of you? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me pierce you all. Gotta love pierce. Those were the days. But what were the days? Well, anyway. Time to check. Fortune. Neat. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just... Uh-oh. No! You're in... No Why won't you die? Gotcha. That was a close one. What do you want? Get out of here. What are you doing? Annoying guy. Annoying Naga. Anyway, moving on. Close one. But we made it. Block of iron, bone, obsidian. Good amount, too. Open up the bag. Put things in. Mm-hmm. Looks good to me. What was in here again? Ah, right. You. And ancient debris. That's always nice, too. Now what? Another Naga. Get out of here. Same with you. Ha! <laughs> I hit a skull. Yeah, line up. Or something. Oh, don't tell me you're actually gonna come over here. You don't have a way here. Hmm? Go away. No one wants you here. You don't belong in this world. Hmm. Guess I can grab all these arrows back. Moving along now. Get out of here. See anyone? Oh yeah, there you are. What's up? Please don't mind me. Soul speed? Eh. More obsidian? Eh. What's this? Quick charge. Quick charge is useful for me. Especially when it's at two. I think we could make a portal now. You know, regroup, collect our things. All that stuff. Sounds good to me. I didn't talk to you! Alexa! Quiet! Alexa! Shush! Great. I didn't bring a flint and steel. Why do I always forget that? Great. Where am I gonna find some gravel? That is a great question, isn't it? Where would I find gravel? Wait, can this be used in... No, but I can throw it. Okay. Because I guess throwing it works. Somehow. I don't know. Oh? Ah, it's one of these areas. I am taking these. Hmm. Think we could find a flint, a flint and steel up there? It's possible. Might as well. Let's take a look. Let's be ready. I might wind up getting attacked. Hey yo. How are you? Yeah. You think you can hit me? Give it your best shot. Pretty why don't I do that? Why don't I do that for you? Hmm, too bad. You just weren't ready. They just didn't know. That's about it, really. Hmm. Too bad. No charge, though, it seems. But there is some ancient debris, so that's always nice. I need gravel, though. Or something that equivalent. And there's none. Well, that's too bad. Guess I'll have to check another area. Did I use my gravel? I used it already, didn't I? Dang it. Should have taken it down the moment I realized I didn't have any flint and steel. And I highly doubt I'm going to find any gravel around here. Maybe over there, though. Hmm. It's possible. Yes. It's been 39 minutes. 
I'll end us off when I've been able to get back to the other world. Let's see here. I'm sure that if I dug around, I'd be able to find something. After all, gravel can be found within the rock. So why wouldn't that make sense? I hope I don't break my pickaxe, though. Oh? Hmm. The lower level. Where are you? Can I make it back to one of my tunnels from here? I know that there was this one tunnel that had gravel. I don't know what I did with it, though. I guess it would depend on which way I came from. Jump. Thank you, Feather Falling. Lifesaver, Ed. Really. Hmm. There you are. Ow. Use this. Gotcha. Uh, just throw this one out for now. Do that. Do this. Good. Well, I might want the string. I definitely need the leather. Uh, I guess I can put something in the backpack. Let's take a look. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. 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 Time to go. Heading home. Oh, I already had blue seal in it. Ah! Uh, and there's a nog over there, too. Boink. Die. Uh-huh, we got you here. Moving on. Blocks. Where's the portal? There you are. Okay, good. Now, where am I now? In this area. Have I been to this spot before? Uh-oh. Crash. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. If you like it and want to see more. I have likes, 10 views. I will play it. Well, okay, I'm probably going to play it again there anyway next time. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.